this quick video, I'm going to show you how to do the setup configuration settings. Here in the basic configuration section, you can enter your business name and business address. Next is the membership configuration. Select the currency that you are going to use to sell your product. The membership handler page is the page that acts as a placeholder for login, registration, reset password, edit profile forms, and also for the support desk. All necessary forms will be auto-generated by Insta member as long as the handler page is exist. Normally, Insta member will also create the handler page upon plugin activation, so you don't have to modify this setting. Next is the membership homepage setting. This setting is mandatory and you cannot leave this blank. You need to create a new page in WordPress and select it for the membership homepage setting. This after logout URL is optional. You can leave it blank or you can put any URL you want your member to see after the logout. The non-member redirect URL is also optional. If you want to redirect them to a custom page, then you can enter the URL here. Otherwise, you leave this blank. By default, Insta member will redirect visitors who are trying to view a protected post or page to a login page if they are not logged in. Admin Unlock Mode If you turn on this option, you as the administrator can view or access all protected posts, pages, and files without having to log in as a member. Sync Members with WordPress if you turn on this option, Insta member will also register your new members, including affiliates, as WordPress users too. Any members' data updates applied to Insta member will also be applied to WordPress database and vice versa. Okay, next is the affiliate program configurations. Insta member has the affiliate program built in, so if you wish to sell your product using the direct payment such as PayPal, Paysa, to check out or authorize net, and you want to have your own affiliate program for your product, you can do so with Insta member. However, if you use third-party payments such as Clipbank, JPSU, etc., then you don't need to use the Insta member built-in affiliate program. Accepted payout. Currently, there are two options for processing payout. PayPal and Paysa. Make sure to set up the payment option page for whatever payout option you want to be implemented in your affiliate program. Affiliate cookie lifetime. This is uh, this determines the period of which the safe affiliate cookie will expire. Default permission. This will be the default permission value on product that you have allowed affiliate program. Minimum payout. This is the minimum amount that an affiliate should achieve to receive payout. Unless it is set to zero, affiliate will not receive any payout for as long as the value is a uh, value set is not met. Commissions after fees. This option is only applicable for payments handled by Paysa and PayPal. This option enable commission calculation every after transaction fees are applied. Affiliate sign up options allow visitors to sign up as affiliate only without purchasing first. Turn this on if you want to if you want that visitors can sign up as an affiliate to any of your product that offer affiliate program even without purchasing. Manually approve new affiliates. Turn this option on if you want to manually choose which affiliate registration you want to approve. Autoresponder integration. By default, this is uh, turned off. Turn this on if you would like to integrate an autoresponder for registration. Make sure that you have already set up the autoresponder options from the integration page. Next is licensing server configuration. The licensing server secret will be used for authentication when an API call is made. By default, Insta member have already generated a random key for this setting. However, you can change it if you wish. The licensing server URL is your license API URL. Please read the manual for more info. Account sharing prevention. 
This option is an instant member feature that tracks down the number of IP allowed to access a specific account within a set number of minutes. Set it up according to the preference of how many IPs will be allowed within a specific period. If for instance the values set are met, you have the option to lock or disable the account or notify the administrator via email about the activity. Brute Force Login Limit Set this option to a value that corresponds to the number of incorrect attempts of the user to log in. Upon reaching the Z value, the user will have to wait for a delay period to try logging in again. Brute Force Login Delay This value in minutes is the time delay after a user has exceeded the number of unsuccessful login attempts. Brute Force Login Recapture this option enables recapture a capture program after two unsuccessful login attempts. This option would only apply if you set up recapture in the Regis integration page. Save or update settings. Make sure that once you are done setting up, don't leave the page unless you have saved or updated the changes you have made.